What's your name? Emoji sign. Open that app. Where you at? What's your name? Emoji sign. Open that app. Hi guys, Lens here. So in this video, I just want to answer some questions that I see a lot of persons asking. In my previous videos, in the comments, they ask, how can I know that my batteries are being charged by my solar panel? Also, there are another question that I see a lot of persons asking. So they are stating that they are not getting any charge coming from their panel to their solar charge controller. If you connect the positive and the negative wires correctly, and you can see that your float voltage is fluctuating, then you are actually getting power. Another way how to ensure that you're getting power, if you have a multimeter, then you can test using the multimeter there using these holes it's not actually recommend doing this but you can do a quick test it is actually short circuiting anyway but you can do a quick test by putting down your positive and negative lead and you can test to see how much volts as well as amps coming from your panel so once you put your multimeter on 20 volts you should be getting around 12 volts so guys also i just want to talk about these things that i have here as well well these are fuse and this is a fuse holder this one is an inline fuse holder and this one is what we will use between our inverter and our battery right there are the are smaller version in which we can use as well between the charge controller and the battery and also between the solar panel and the charge controller if necessary right so i'll put a link in the video description for these right so if you really want to see the performance of your solar panel how much power is actually going to the battery you can use a inline meter you can buy these i don't have any right here at hand but you can buy one of those inline meter and you can install it in the line so you will actually see how much power you're generating from the sun so you can actually put one between the solar charge controller and the battery so you can actually see how much power is going to your battery a lot of persons seems to be getting confused because they're just seeing some numbers here and they are not sure what is happening with their battery right but there are different settings on the charge controller as well but when you are getting charged you will see the arrow is pointing towards the battery in the middle and you'll actually see that your float voltage is going up and down depending upon the power that you are getting it is not showing you the battery level but the float voltage that is going to the battery if you like to see the battery level most controllers will have the option in which you can flip the settings and it will show you the exact percentage where the battery is what happens oftentimes when your battery is full the bars will show that the battery is full a lot of persons come to youtube because they state that they did not receive a manual with their solar charge controller but if you look here you can see that the battery is in the middle and there are some bars going across in the middle of the battery most controllers will show you this icon and this icon signify when your battery is full so that's how you can know if your battery is full most of the time you will see this arrow pointing to your battery meaning that your battery is charging so that's how you know that your battery is charging and this voltage here that is displaying here it is indeed the float voltage coming from the sun so this can exceed 12 volts it can go to 13 
The highest volts on these controllers are normally around 14 volts. So it's possible for you to see 14.4, something like that. So guys, this is how you can actually know if your batteries are being charged. And this is the full diagram here. So you need to ensure that everything is connected properly. Again, guys, if you are confused about your system that you have set up, they are inline fuse that you can put in as well for safety depending on your situation but also they are inline meter in which you can put in to see how many volts go into your battery and also how many volts coming from your panel so guys i'll put all of these in the video description i hope that this video was informative and helpful to you my name is lens do like share and subscribe i'll be doing another update on this as well so do look out for that video